like to row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general finance message for September 2022. Now remember these are just spot readings. If you would like your own one-to-one -one reading, feel free to reach out to me at angelslighttarot at gmail.com. All right, angels, we're looking for high vibrations for lovely, lovely Scorpio for the month of September. Angels, what are the messages? for Scorpio. Thank you and thank you. There we go. Now these three that are left over are for the influ influences that are around you. Maybe not happening to you, but around you. Now let's take a peek at your major theme for the month and that is the Jack. The Jack of Diamonds and the Three of Diamonds. You are getting a burst of creative energy this month. So much so, it's almost like you can't even sleep. Your mind is think, 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 think over, over, over. What is it that I can do. You know what it is that you can do. I feel like this creative energy is pouring out of you. Take advantage of it in September. You know, sometimes things come along, ideas pop in your head and you kind of just shoo them away. Oh, that'll never work. Well, this month, guess what? You're not going to be able to shoo them away because they're going to keep coming and that energy is going to keep coming and coming. It's not going to let you sit in that place of worry because that's the lower side of this three of diamonds. No, this energy is going to keep pushing until you produce what it is that energy, that, that creative thing inside of you, it's just going to push it uh, out of you. I can almost feel it like, oh, the universe is saying, do it, do it. Okay. All right. So let's take a peek at your recent past here. You had the four of diamonds and the 10 of diamonds. So what I'm picking up here is there in the recent past, there was a sense of security, a lot of security. Financially speaking, you in the recent past were a-okay. You were surrounded by abundance and you felt safe and secure. What a wonderful place to be. Now, when we look in the middle of the month, we have the queen of diamonds and the eight of diamonds. So I feel like whatever this creative energy is, I feel like you're going to begin to push to get it done. You're going to spend what you need to spend to get this done. So I, I'm picking up here that do not overspend. Yes, you're going to push to get these things outside of you. Yes, you need to do A, B. You have whatever it is you, you desire. You have the resources. You have the time to do whatever it is that the universe is asking you to do. But just be mindful because sometimes we like the best of the best, right? Sometimes you bring it down a little bit. We don't want to spend our nest all of our nest egg here okay Scorpio all right so you do you have the ability the financial ability in the middle of the month to start acting on this energy this energy that is pushing itself out of you okay now if you've always wanted you it's almost like this light bulb I see this light bulb going off your head off your head maybe you've had this idea before but nothing really ever like oh, I can't see how this would work or blah blah well guess what this month you're in a place now, you're comfortable now. So now the energy is saying, that universe is saying, okay, Scorpio, it's time because the, the world really needs that. Whatever it is that you have that, that's laying on your heart, that's always been there, it's going to be pushed to the surface. And the, the energy, the universe is giving you the finances to fund that thing that you've always wanted to do. Okay. Now let's take a peek at the end of the month. We have the two of diamonds and the seven of diamonds. So what this is telling me is you are partnering up. You have a partner here and this partner with, I feel like this partner could be very wealthy um, or you could be very wealthy, but whatever it is, I feel like you are joining your resources to get this done at the end of the month. Maybe you need a partnership. Maybe you need you need someone to keep you motivated. Maybe you need a financial um, advisor or things of that nature because I don't necessarily see that you are financially hurt, okay? All right, so let's take a peek at your bonus here. You have the six of diamonds and the ace of diamonds, and how awesome is this? Your money is just flowing, flowing, flowing. There is not a hiccup here at all. Your money is seriously good so good that you're ready to start something new, okay? 
Ah, gosh, that feels good. All right, now let's take a peek at the energy that is around you. You have the king of diamonds. You have the five of diamonds and the nine of diamonds. So I feel like there's some powerful people around you that's creating the shift within you. This create like you may have heard, you may hear a conversation. Someone may just be talking to you, having a normal conversation about making changes in their world or making changes in in your world or just someone in general but you respect this person and you're look you, you're thinking about these changes and you're thinking about investing in 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 whatever change that that you need so it's not necessarily what they are doing it's not that they're telling you what to do you're just listening and you're understanding you know I could actually do a I could start something new I don't have to be comfortable and just sit like let's say you're on retirement let's say you're about to retire and you have everything that you need. Well, that doesn't mean you sit and, well, you can, you can and just enjoy the fruits of your labor. Or you, you don't always have to be, you know, you, in your 60s to retire. You could be in your 30s, you could be in your 20s. Well, in that time, if, well, now that you're here, I see that you're thinking, you know, I can, I can start a second career or I could do this or I could, do, yes, that's what I'm hearing. I can do something different now. Maybe it's that thing that I've always wanted to do because comfort, because the comfort is the name of the game. Comfort is where you are right now, but you don't want to get complacent. You don't want to get bored. You don't want to get lonely. You want to get out there, get your feet wet and do something different. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love sent your way.